Hello friends, welcome to another video. We're gonna talk about another remote design sprint technique. Um, and this is to cover lightning talks or lightning demo as you know it. Um, essentially, it's a process where you get together aspirations. You typically do it in the first day or the second day of design sprints, depending on which version you're doing. But if it's the five day, this is the, uh, the second day. Sorry, if it's a five day version of a design sprint, this is day number two in the morning. And this is when the team has gone home previously and tried to find their own aspirations. They've got a couple of examples that are re relevant to the challenge that you're trying to solve, and they just want to share it with the team. So it's a show and tell technique, but we're doing it remotely and we're going to use Miro. Um, before we continue further, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell button for a notification. All right, guys, so the concept of a lightning demo is really like a quick way for everyone to do a sprint round of um, no pun intended there, but a really quick sprint round of a show and tell. Uh, have you been to Pecha Kucha or things like that before? So it's basically lightning talks, uh, but you don't want it to be a speech. You just want to show things or examples that uh, you like, aspirations. In this case, let's go with a, like a website or a mobile app. Um, but in the theme of our videos that we've done so far, we've been focusing on some a uh, digital platform for artists and creatives. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna go into the mural here and show you how we would do it. So what I do is I'll just create a new area. So in mural, you could create area where you just right click and then add area like this and it'll give you one of these things. But what you do is when you have an area and then you drop in, you drop in some elements in there, whether it's post-its or shapes or whatever, screenshots, they will all move together and they're grouped automatically as you move things around. So I've got a few areas here that we've gone through so far in the previous videos. If you haven't seen them, go and have a look at them. Uh, we've done some pre-flight, uh, we've done some goals and questions and expert interviews. This is the point where I wanna do a little bit of a lightning demo or talk. So my team members would have gone home remembering what the goal was or uh, what the user journey was that we're trying to focus on. They've gone home and do a little bit of research and today's the day where they're going to show us um, or the rest of their other team members the things that might inspire us for our ideas show and tell so the way we do it is obviously you're in a zoom situation you're in a video conferencing because everyone's working remotely as a facilitator uh, oh and by the way your team members would also have the links uh, i know that i'm here by myself right now but imagine that there are a few different people here you just generally see uh, little avatars or icons um, and everyone could collaborate in this board in this virtual whiteboard um, the way to do it is just go is to go through each team member so i might say all right ronnie it's your time now do you want to just go up and uh, show the team what you what you have uh, in terms of a reference that is relevant to our goal and our challenge and so ronnie would come up and share screen and let's say he's got a few examples here so he's prepared a few websites uh, to show and he knows what the big ideas are that he wants to to highlight as well. So for example, Ronnie goes, all right guys, I like this Etsy website here uh, because it's relevant to what we're doing. I know it's a marketplace and we're doing something else, but what I like here, it's uh, it seems like it's suggesting, su suggesting the right type of content up front in the homepage. I really like that. So what you wanna do as a facilitator is at the same time, take notes. Um, the way I like to do this is have it screenshot. You can either get Ronnie to screenshot it for you or you can do it yourself while he's sharing his screen. And then I'll drop it into my lightning demo uh, board. So the way I do it is I'll just grab uh, an image, import files, from my computer and I'll do this very quickly by the way so once you get familiar once you're familiar with the tool which is Miro or Miro uh, then this becomes very quick and easy uh, that's providing that you have good internet to support you which I do have a challenge with that right now so um, imagine that's there and it's just uploading and I've probably done a done a pretty big screenshot now the difference here is and I like, this is one other thing that I like about doing it virtually is because I get to screenshot straight away and it's instant, it's there. Whereas traditionally, if we're doing this on a whiteboard, I'd be sketching it. As a facilitator, I'd be doing a lo-fi sketch of what this 
homepage may look like or the interface may look like. And that, uh, if you're not good in sketching, well, it's not really about being good or bad in sketching, but if you're a little bit slower to follow uh, what the example was, then you'd struggle. But the great thing with doing it virtually is you just get to screenshot it like this. And as, um, as Ronnie was saying that he likes uh, this big idea from Etsy about oh, smart, um, relevant suggestions on homepage. That was the big idea. I can reduce font sizes real quick there. Um, and I'll do a reference of the brand, which was Etsy.com. There we go. Etsy. And so that's an example. Um, another good tip is to allow a certain number of minutes per person so they don't go over. Sometimes there are people who love to talk and they could go eight for ages in trying to explain what they like. But the great thing with having a timer here, let's say five minutes per person, that might be a little bit too long actually. But um, let's say a couple of minutes per person, uh, at least everyone sees the timer. It will ping as soon as it finishes up. It will remind you when it's like one minute left. So uh, it's a good way to do this. Um, as you know, traditionally we would use a time timer to do all of that. And so yeah, uh, Ronnie would just go through his other examples. Uh, he might, the other thing is on a, on a desktop like this, he might be able to show you the mobile design that he likes without having to go into a different screen. Um, so I'll just do another example. Ronnie might say, oh, Etsy's got this mobile app too and I quite like the homepage. And I do a quick screenshot of that. And yeah, I'll just drop that in. Another import. Make sure you grab the idea, the big idea, which is important to understand why they like this example and, what it, and how is it relevant to us. And so you just group them like this. Copy that. The beauty of working digitally is it's so easy to copy and paste. And um, simple, simplified mobile dashboard is the idea that he likes. And Etsy is still the example. And so you do the same thing for each and each and every example that uh, that Ronnie will have, and then once his time is up, he, we can move on to the next um, person, and then the next person might bring something else, like this video screen on the homepage from this particular brand Nike, or something that we like from an Apple page, or whatever it is. So anyone can bring any examples. Um, what I like to do is have the participants be prepared with their examples before going into the session. Uh, you don't want them to be researching while being on the session. They need to be prepared before that. So it's like a homework that you typically give your team members after day one uh, is to go out and find some inspirations, collect them. Uh, and some good people uh, might even be more prepared by like taking the screenshots already, passing it on to you so you don't have to do it as the facilitator. Nevertheless, uh, this is the process. So at the end of this, you'll end up with a bunch of inspiration from different products, different websites, with a bunch of big ideas too. The other thing that I like to do for visual purposes, given that I'm a designer myself, I like to bold things or even color things. So for example, the big idea here might be the thing that I wanted to highlight. I might change colors to, you know, uh, pink or whatever it is. Um, and I can play with my font size as well if I like to highlight certain things. But there's no right and wrong. It's up to you on how you do it. The idea here is for the rest of the team members to understand exactly what, um, what aspirations everyone else has. And then that gives us more ideas when we go into solution sketching mode, um, which is uh, the exercise that you'd be doing later this afternoon after you've done this. Um, I'll do a video separately about solution sketching and how to do it remotely. But in the meantime, that's how you do lightning talks or lightning demo. Um, let me just think about a couple of other ways of doing this. Oh, other than doing a screenshot like this, if there's nothing visual that you just want to talk about ideas, you could do it in a lightning talk format where you just double tip, uh, double tap, 
and uh, type in the idea that you like. Relevant suggestions on on homepage is great. That's the idea. And then do another card for a reference of what it was, Etsy.com. Change the color just to give a bit of a point of differentiation. And then you do multiples of this, essentially. You get the gist. All right. Essentially, that's where we're at. And hopefully that video is helpful. If you've got any questions, send me a, a message, leave us a comment. I'll try my best to answer. Um, and if you think this video is going to be beneficial for some of your other colleagues or your team members or your friends, don't forget to share them. Leave us a like and um, I'll see you in the next one.